Hey, what's going on guys? So I figured it was about time I made a Grin Reaper video. In patch 2.0.5, they buffed the Voodoo Mask a good bit. The Mimics are out the majority of the time, and they do good damage. Uh, so we're going to run a Poison build today. I've been, I've been testing the helmet quite a bit, the Voodoo Mask, and I think you could honestly run any element type you wanted to. I think it's viable to run Poison in Physical and Torment 6, and then the Fire and Cold builds you could run in Lower Torments pretty well. Um, for, day, for today we're going to do Poison. I think the best build is probably the Physical setup, just because it's going to buff your Fetish Psychophants also. Um, in this build we're going to be running Plague of Toads, Reign of Toads with Fetish Psychophants, which has obvious synergy. You're going to get out a ton of fetishes from Reign of Toads. Even though this is not a dedicated pet build, the fetishes still deal a lot of damage. You'll have around 10 of them out the majority of the time. And um, they're good meat shields. Um, for the most part, I want to be kind of away from the action with this build, spamming Reign of Toads or Corpse Bomb. And, uh, you know, they, they keep me out of out of bad situations and tank for me, which is nice. Um, now, obviously, you know, we're going to be stacking poison damage, so they're not getting as buffed as they possibly could. But I don't see this build working without them, to be completely honest with you. This is kind of like a hybrid pet build slash mimic uh, damage build. As far as the second ability on your right click, Acid Cloud Corpse Bomb, um, I, I cast this a little bit myself, but this is more an ability for your mimics to cast. They cast it like crazy and does a lot of damage. You could also run Zombie Bears here. I don't like Zombie Bears personally because Zombie Bears is an ability that is all about positioning. And your mimics, you can't really control how they position when they cast their Zombie Bears to get maximum potential out of it. Corpse Bomb is a little bit more just cast and go and you hit the majority of enemies. Uh, Corpse Spider is Spider Queen. Now your own character can only have out one Spider Queen at a time. But your mimics, they don't go by those rules. I've had out anywhere from 15 to 20 Spider Queens on the screen at one time, um, which is pretty crazy to see. I'm not positive it's intended to be that way. It may be a bug. I'm not sure. I don't think it's overpowered. It's relatively powerful, but not overpowered. So I think they can keep it just fine, even if it would it was a bug. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. That's also poison damage. Piranha's Paranado to pull everything in. Again, poison damage. These are the four abilities in the build that the Mimics will cast. Um, and then the other two abilities, we've got Spearwalk, Honored Guest. This could be Jaunt if you wanted it to be. I like Honored Guest just to get a little bit more mana back for Corpse Bomb and Paranado. And then Summon Zombie Dogs, Rabid Dogs. Uh, this is the Poison Rune. Now, obviously, like I said, we're not running a Mask of Jerem. We're not running... Um, Midnight Feast in the build, so the dog isn't like crazy powerful, but he's still really good single target damage and gives us a little bit more, a little bit more tankiness and stuff like that. We're also running you Copy and Serpent, which is good with it. Um, and I just want to go over this, just because you're not running a build that is completely focused on the uh, gargantuan dog with Tall Man's Finger, does not mean that it's not good in the build. Even if it's like a side benefit or you know kind of an afterthought to the build, something that just makes it a little bit better, it's still good. Um, you don't always have to be making it crit for 200 million or more to make it viable in a build. Um, it's still very good in this build, even though this is a hybrid pet slash mimic build. Um, it's not going to be critting for like 200 million, but on bosses and elites and champions, it still does a lot of work for me. I'm be running Pierce the Veil for more damage. Fierce Loyalty, mainly for the movement speed, but also it buffs the Gargantuan Dog with the Tall Man's Finger, which is nice. Grave Injustice for cooldown reduction, and then Fetish Psychophants. As far as the gear goes, Grin Reaper, uh, we're building around it. We're going to run Aw Guild's Shoulders, Chest, and Bracers with Poison on the Bracers. Uh, we're not running a Ring of Royal Grandeur, which allows us to run a Stone of Jordan with Poison and the Tall Man's Finger. Rakoff's Glass of Life with Poison, Crit Damage, Crit Chance, Harrington Waste Guard, Swampland Waiters for more Poison, Eucopian Serpent, which is really nice, just take less damage, it's always good, uh, Illusory Boots, there were no particular boots that I needed to run, so I figured I'd run a pair with a, a good ability, I mean it's definitely not mandatory to the build at all, but moving unhindered through enemies is always nice. Um, you could definitely, like if you decided you didn't want to run the dog, you could run the ring here, you could drop... Um, probably the chest on the Aw Guilds and just run the shoulders and the bracers if you ran the Ring of Grandeur and then you could run like Blackthorn's boots and pants and get the three piece bonus out of that potentially if you wanted to something like that um, I like the Tall Man's Finger a lot in the build though 
that dog gives you a lot of single target damage. Tasker and Theo is for 50% more attack speed of your pets. Pretty self-explanatory. And as far as the weapon goes, I'm running a Thunder Fury currently. Um, I've tested a lot of different things. I think the best case scenario is a Star Metal Kukri. Um, and you would probably drop Paranado in this build for Slam Dance uh, if you had one. Um, unfortunately, I don't. The, the other option you would have is to just get rid of the dog entirely if you had that. And uh, run the other setup like I just talked about. You could just run Slam Dance here instead of the dog. Um, I don't have it at the moment though, so running a Thunder Fury, which procs like crazy off of the Toads, which is really nice. I like that quite a bit. I've tried Shard of Hate. Um, it procs a lot. The biggest issue is just that the poison um, Nova that comes out from your character is in a, it's a 10 yard radius around you, which basically means you have to be in melee range for it to hit. And I'm not a big fan of that in this build in Torment 6. But give it a shot, see what you think. I mean, even something like, if you don't have e any of those weapons, you could even run like a Doombringer for more physical damage to your fetishes. I mean, I know it's a poison build, but your fetishes still do a considerable amount of damage, and they are physical from the passive. Um, you know, just a few things to think about. As far as Paragon goes, get as much movement speed as you need. The 25% on the max on your sheet, then go Int. Offense, crit chance, crit damage, attack speed. I've heard a lot of people say that attack speed is king in these builds of the Grin Reaper to make sure your mimics are up the majority of the time. Um, with the setup that I'm at right now, I, I don't have any issue having my mimics out almost all the time. Um, so you may want to play around with that and see if you need more attack speed than I do with my gear setup. Uh, defense, life percentage, armor percentage, all resist. Utility, area damage, life on hit, and then resource cost reduction. These two are way more important than the resource cost reduction is. Let's go and just kill Gom real quick. And again, I plan to put a video out of just about... I'll probably put one out of all of the element types with the Grim Reaper. Just so you guys can kind of see, see how all of them work. Um, the fire and the cold builds may not be Torment 6 videos. It just kind of depends. I need to... I need to mess around with them a little bit more and see how good they are. You see how many spiders are out right now. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Every once in a while I cap I cast, you know, corpse bomb. I with Pierce the Veil you don't have a ton of mana for it, but you really don't need to cast it that much when you're when your mimics are casting it almost all the time for you. Pack got absolutely annihilated. It's always good to have about, you know, seven to ten fetishes out before you go fight Gom. Especially on Torment 6, because they will die to his uh, gas if you're not careful. So, I mean, really pretty fast GOM kill, man. I mean, it's not going to be... Now, let's, I'm just going to make sure you guys understand this. Jade Harvester and full pet builds, whether you go the fire builds with the Zuni set and Star Metal Kukri and uh, Hexing Pants and all that stuff, or the physical builds where you're generating fetishes from the passive, 
um, or Jade Harvester, like I said, are all probably going to be more efficient on Torment 6, but this is close. Um, it's to a point where I can do like 10 minute riffs or so the majority of the time, uh, and maybe with some tweaking I'll be able to do them even faster, but it's viable at least. It's efficient enough to where you can run it in Torment 6. Um, let's go ahead and go kill a few more things real quick. But I'm not saying by any means that this is on the same level as a Jade build or like a full-on pet build with Mask of Jerem and Star Metal and all that stuff. But this is just another option. And the nice thing about the Grin Reaper is, you know, you don't need a whole heck of a lot to make it work. You know, like, as far as the build that I'm running right now, there's not that many rare items that I'm running. I mean, the, the Taskers obviously are very rare. Um, the Thunder Fury, you know, is relatively rare. That's really about it. The rest of it is, you know, stuff you can find pretty quick. Gonna go kill a few more. Maybe another elite pack or something, real quick. There we go. So there you go guys, there's the build, I hope you enjoy it, um, play around with it, you know, try the physical version, see what you think, I'll put a video out of that too, in the fire, and the cold, um, but yeah, just play around with it man, the Grin Reaper is actually pretty fun now, um, I really like the, the Spider Queen especially, um, <laughs> that's pretty great, but there's a lot of different things that they can cast, I mean they can cast, from what I understand, um, they'll cast Grasp of the Dead, they'll cast, uh, Mass Confusion, I believe they'll cast Horrify even. They will not cast Wall of Zombies, unfortunately. I was hoping I could make a, a Helltooth uh, set with the Grin Reaper, but Wall of Zombies they won't cast for some reason or another. Also, keep this in mind, they do cast Fire Bats, but the, they don't do any damage with the Fire Bats. It's very strange. Like, you'll see them casting Fire Bats, but their Fire Bats are actually not dealing any damage whatsoever. So just keep that in mind if you try to run like Plague Bats or Vampire Bats, um, which I tried to run. And they, they won't cast Dire Bats, um, I've tried that a good bit. But uh, I was trying this build with Plague Bats, and they cast it, but it doesn't actually deal damage. But anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.